My name is Adrian Owen, and I'm a professor of cognitive neuroscience at Western University in London, Ontario. As more and more people are recovering from the effects of COVID-19, it's becoming apparent that many of them are suffering from short and long-term neurological deficits. And these can include cognitive difficulties, problems with memory, concentration, and even everyday decision-making. These problems could be caused by many aspects of COVID-19, from direct viral effects on the brain to indirect effects caused by inflammation or blood clots, sedation, even being on a ventilator. We're using an online cognitive assessment tool known as Cambridge Brain Sciences that was developed in my lab at Western. And we're going to track up to 50,000 COVID-19 survivors we're going to test them now and a year from now to try and establish exactly what are the effects of this virus on the brain and on cognitive function. We have more than 15 million people worldwide who have contracted this virus. That means a year from now we may have upwards of 15 million people who have cognitive difficulties that prevent them from doing their jobs or from going about their everyday activities. What we want to do is to get on top of this problem right now, to work out who is affected or who is most likely to be affected in order that we can try to identify strategies that might mitigate the long-term effects of this disease.